minutes ago, Senator Frist, our majority leader uh, and, and also a physician, led a group of us to South Africa. And there we found, uh, maybe 12 years ago, found the President of South Africa had rejected the science on HIV AIDS, decided it wasn't a vir caused by a virus, and um, uh, that the cure was elimination of poverty, setting back South Africa uh, for years in terms of its ability to deal with HIV AIDS. Uh, now today, uh, there's information that's on the internet, which is where we were told the President had found his information some years ago, that says that there was a study published in Lancet in 1998 by Andrew Wakefield alleging a connection between measles, mumps, mumps and rubella vaccine, MMR, and autism. Um, let's say you're a physician or pediatrician and a parent comes in and says, I've been on the internet and I'm concerned because I found that uh, uh, according to this medical journal, uh, there is a relationship between this measles and mumps vaccine and the possibility of my child uh, being autistic. Uh, what would you say to that parent? Um, autism is a terrible condition. That paper that you're mentioning has been totally discredited. It was found to be fraudulent and is not the case. There have been dozens of studies of vaccines and the question of autism. Vaccines don't cause autism. They are highly effective and safe and are a good way to protect your children from vaccine preventable diseases. Mm -hmm. When you say totally discredited, what do you mean by that? The information in that particular <laughs> report was found to be um, fraudulent by a British investigator. Some of the information wasn't correct in terms of the notes that were submitted. Uh, but there have been dozens of studies that were better to try to understand whether there is a link between mm -hmm. vaccines and autism. It was sort of a natural question some parents had because of the onset age for autism. But those studies have been incredibly reassuring. So when I talk to the public or I talk to parents, I like to explain that as a physician and as a public health expert, I can tell you that vaccines are very safe and effective, and while autism is a terrible condition, one thing we know is that vaccines don't cause autism. So you would say to the parent that that, was, that, that article was just flat wrong? That's right. And that numerous studies have showed that it was wrong? That's right. And what happened to the, the author of the article? He lost his medical license. Because why? Because of the fraudulent behavior. Because of the fraudulent behavior. Um, We've been talking about a variety of, of, of vaccines. Um, uh, it struck me as we were so worried about Ebola in, in the fall, last fall, we're still worried about it, that uh, many of the public health people would point out to me from Tennessee that we had the flu season coming up and we lose is the number. How, how, many, how many Americans die each year from the flu? Se from, from flu? You know, flu is very variable, but it can be between 3,000 in a really good year to about 50,000 in a severe year. This is a quite severe year for flu. So 3,000 to 50,000 could die from, from flu. Is there a vaccine for flu? That's right. There are vaccine, several different vaccines for influenza. Right now, about 46% um, of Americans get a flu vaccine each year. We'd like that to be much higher. Mm -hmm. um, so we do recommend everybody six months and over get a flu vaccine every year. Let's go back to the measles for a minute. Measles is not just a, you know, a runny nose, is it? I mean, it's a serious disease. What would you say to a parent who comes in and says, uh, I'm going to opt not to get the measles vaccine? Uh, what, what are the risks of that? Uh, how many children who contract the measles die? You know, before there was a measles vaccine in the U.S., 400 to 500 children in this country died. The risk of dying is much higher in, in countries uh, that are poor, where malnutrition is a problem. So we um, have about 150,000 deaths from measles around the world each year. It used to be millions, um, and that's actually an improvement because of high uptake of measles vaccine. But it would, be, would it be accurate to say that if your child contracted measles in the United States, the chances of a death would be about one in 1,000? That, that's right. But Remember, there are other problems with measles, not just that rare risk of dying. Measles, even a mild case of measles, is a really scary thing for a parent. 
my mom was telling me about when I had measles, she was scared to take my temperature because I looked so horrible and you know it had been so high and she was worried it wasn't coming down. Measles can be um, pretty scary for parents, even the mild cases. There are other complications besides death. Children can get pneumonia, they can get dehydration, they can also get a neurologic problem, encephalitis, which can be quite scary and severe. Thank you, Senator.